Hey guys, I'm here in Hope, British Columbia. I'm just heading for an overnight camp. I'm trying to possibly make it to a peak today, but however, the avalanche conditions are fairly heightened. There's a bunch of new snow and the weather's a little iffy. There's gonna be a lot of cloud coming in. So the main focus of this mission is getting in the outdoors, having a camp overnight, and hopefully having a great time. I wanted to share it with you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Just trekking through a fresh batch of snow. It's pretty deep, so I imagine it's gonna be fairly slow moving for a little while, but uh, looking to get through the forest here and hopefully out of the tree line for some possible alpine views. Just heading over this bridge here, above this creek underneath. Just wanted to mention a quick tip. When you're crossing a bridge like this covered in snow, you wanna be using your poles as much as you can when you can't see what's under your foot. Even though this looks like a wide bridge, I'm constantly prodding deep with my pole. Staying in the middle, you never know there could be a hole or whatnot, so just taking it slow um, playing it safe and just really prodding before I take each step because I'm out here alone and falling in the frozen creek or falling and breaking an ankle could be detrimental. Always safety first. I'll be honest, the morale is a little low. So I've just about got a kilometer in and we're pretty much at almost an hour of moving time. Now to get up to where I want to today, it's about six kilometers. And with the incline and these conditions, it's gonna be really pressing for time, but uh, just gonna keep plugging away. And as I said, the main motive is to spend a night outdoors. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how it goes anyway. Just want to give you guys an update. So just as my morale was feeling low, three skiers passed by. And the great part about that is they're laying some track down, which I can follow. So that's gonna save me expending as much energy. And I was uh, feeling a little low cause I was seeing how long it was taking me to make progress, but it seems like I got an answer from the heavens and I can follow their tracks, which will help alleviate some of the energy expenditure. So happy to see that. Such a godsend. I'm feeling the difference already, just going through their tracks. And I had made the assumption, as this is a fairly somewhat busy route, getting into these uh, trees here, that there would be possible tracks, but you can't always assume that, but got lucky today, so pretty grateful. I just wanted to share a quick tip. When you're traversing amongst these evergreens that are covered in snow, especially the thick stuff, there tends to be snow bombs falling down. You'll just get uh, big gushes of snow dropping down from the trees. Uh, so just a quick bit of advice. Uh, when I'm going through the thick of it, I'm keeping my hood on. And also when I'm taking breaks, I'm taking breaks in the wider open areas so I don't get complacent and have snow fall on me when I'm taking a breather. So just a quick update. I'm uh, trekking through this really deep snow here. The tracks I was following uh, are now veering off to the direction we don't want to go. So basically just trying to go against the grain here to get up to the direction we need to go. Definitely not easy. Well, it's getting pretty steep here. And part of this trail I'm doing today, you have to bushwhack a little bit. So this is where the real challenge is coming in. 
trying to make progress up this hill here. So the last bit was pretty challenging. I'll admit it was pretty tough going and uh, just really hard to make progress in some of this terrain. But finally coming to an opening, got some views and it feels good to be out of that uh, heavy forest area. I'm not doing as much filming because I'm trying to get up to the peak to establish camp for the night or wherever we are setting up camp. So we'll just go from there. So I've slightly adjusted my game plan. Just with all the time it's taken me to get to where I am, the peak I had in mind, which is called Iago Peak, would be another two hours. And I'm basically getting there about two hours before nightfall. So it is a little pushing it for time. And sometimes our ego says, just push it, you know, let's get to that peak you had planned. However, there's another mountain that's a little closer that should have some exceptional views in which I can set up camp in a safe amount of time. Uh, otherwise, just keep you guys updated soon. So I'm just about up at the peak here. It's been a strenuous journey this last little bit, just taking forever to get the shortest amount of distance. It's been about three to four feet uh, deep with the snow. Um, almost there, I can't wait to be at the top. So I'm finally at a place I'm gonna call camp for the night. This is Autumnite Mountain and it's just under 1500 meters. You got a bit of a view here. There's Yak Peak over there. The nice part about this area is it's in a big flat open area. So it's out of avalanche territory. Should be good for home for the night. So I'm gonna set up the tent here for the night. It's pretty deep snow. So just flattening out the area. And when we're outdoors, we wanna try to expend as least amount of energy as possible. So I got my shovel, but in the meantime, I can just use the force of gravity with my snowshoes to flatten out the area and make a little tent pad. Always remember to take your snowshoes off before setting up the tent because the last thing you want to do is puncture a hole in your tent. So I finally got base camp established, got my bedding, got my tent sorted. So we got protection out of the way. I got protection from the elements for the night. That's the main thing. Now I can kind of relax a little bit. It was a little bit of a stressful go, had to switch plans. It would have been pushing too much for time to get to the peak I wanted to get to. And just the conditions of snow were way worse than I anticipated. Uh, you really got to be in it sometimes to know how heavy it is. But it was up to three to four feet. And you have to break trail to get to certain parts. Uh, taking other trail networks to get to where I needed to go. And I just didn't anticipate. But nature throws curveballs sometimes. And we just got to adapt and overcome. But it feels good to have camp established. And uh, yeah, look forward to get some good footage for you guys. Thanks for watching. It's about time for a coffee.
So it's just about minus five outside. It's not as cold as the last time I was out. We're just sitting at about just under 1500 meters. I think it's 1498 meters. So yeah, just looking forward to having a cozy evening. Nothing crazy tonight. Definitely feeling the grind today. So it's just about 6 p.m. It's down to minus eight degrees. It's pretty much going to be dropping one degree by the hour until early hours of the morning. I think the coldest it's going to get down to is about minus 12 to minus 13. Uh, with a bit of a wind chill, it's uh, snowing pretty hard outside. So I'm pretty much going to stay in the tent for the rest of the night. Uh, looking forward to just having some nice quiet time, enjoying the solitude. I'll get in touch with you guys shortly. So just about to make dinner here, we have lasagna and meat sauce. Now, uh, water on this trip is a little scarce. I ended up consuming a lot more just from the strenuous exercise. So got to diversify a bit, boil some snow. Basically, you need about a cup and a half for this. So the snow goes down to about one third of what it looks like. So hopefully that should be approximately a cup and a half, maybe a bit less, give or take. One last tip I wanted to add as well is you want to add a little bit of water before you put in the snow. So I put maybe a quarter cup and what that's going to do is help the snow melt a bit easier. You can add a little bit more is needed. See if it meets the line, which will make a cup and a half. The nice thing about these mountain house meals is it warms you up twice. You can hold it and keep warm. It's keeping my hands nice and toasty. And then the process of eating it as well. Good morning. So I just woke up from a really great sleep. I slept about 10 hours, went to bed about 8 p.m. 
my body really needed this sleep and just got a really quiet, good sleep out here, really well needed. And uh, I just got put right out last night. Looking forward to getting a cup of coffee going and getting ready for the day. One thing I wanted to add in with the boiling snow, a more specific ratio, because snow is about 10% water and 90% air, it's gonna likely come out to about one tenth the amount of water what you picture putting in snow. So <clears throat> I let it melt a bit and then I just top up a little bit as needed. And afterwards for breakfast, scrambled eggs and bacon. I was hoping to possibly catch somewhat of a sunrise this morning, but it's really cloudy today. But I will say, even the clouds have a form of beauty as well. I have a great shot facing east. It would have been nice getting a sunrise shot over the peak there, but still a beautiful scene. So I'm just about to get out of here and one quick thing I wanted to share in regards to packing my stuff when I'm leaving, when you're in these mountain conditions when weather can be unpredictable, you want to pack your tent last. You want to pack your inside gear into your bag first. That way if you're stuck in the elements, if the weather all of a sudden takes a turn, you can get inside as a form of protection and it can get really windy in these conditions so you can safely pack your stuff in your bag, then pack your last form of protection in the bag last before you leave. So I'm just back at the car now. Figured I would save filming that last bit down. However, the trail was a lot better. I got pretty lucky. There was about a hundred ski tourists that came through that area and I was able to get onto their tracks, which made it a lot less painful coming down. There are moments on the trip I was feeling lows, but I find when you stay committed to your goal, often there's a higher power that'll bless you. And it was nice having some skiers create a path and uh, was able to get it done. Some trying moments of character, that's for sure. Otherwise, a great trip, had a really great night. What I love about the outdoors is there's always room for growth and just assessing how the trip went. One thing I know I could have brought that would have done better would be the extensions to my snowshoes, but I was trying to travel light and keep my pack light, but just getting through that terrain, the extensions would have helped very much and uh, I'm always someone who has a growth mindset. There's always things we can constantly improve on and the outdoors has a great way of showing you that. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you liked this content, it would mean the world if you would like, leave a comment or subscribe or all of the above. Till next time and thanks for watching. Take care.